Hi, I'm Dr. Mangia and welcome to Punk Science TV. Uh, we're going to be talking about a topic that we spoke about before and that's the um, gamma ray bubbles that are coming out of the um, Milky Way, the central black hole in the Milky Way galaxy. So as you can see in this um, image that's taken from the Fermi telescope, you have these absolutely enormous bubbles that are either side of the Milky Way galaxy and of course they look to be coming from the central black hole and you can see this these jets as well um, so this is on a slightly modified picture um, that was taken of these gamma ray bubbles some years ago and at the time and we spoke about this previously uh, on Punk Science TV um, the scientists said they had no idea what was actually causing these gamma ray bubbles here. And uh, even the person who found these gamma ray bubbles said that it kind of just confuses everything. Now this is because this is not something that mainstream scientists were actually expecting. So from their perspective, to make matters worse, um, people have actually now found some more bubbles. So these are X-ray bubbles, and uh, these have been. Uh, this has been published in the journal Nature about these large-scale X-ray bubbles um, that are also in the Milky Way. So these seem to be a bit larger than the gamma ray bubbles. And, you know, we're talking about very, very large sizes here. And uh, so people are starting to realise that it's actually streaming from the central black hole itself. Um, but a lot of people think that this might be an event that happened many um, millions of years ago. So anyway, it's, it's puzzling and it's leading to some headlines saying um, our galaxy is blowing enormous hot bubbles into space and no one knows why, that sort of thing. Well, that's not entirely true because if you are aware of what we talk about on Punk Science TV, which is the black hole principle, you'll know that for black holes to go off bipolar jets is quite um, is something that we can expect and for the black hole principle itself it actually says that light comes from infinity um, comes through the dimensions to our dimension splits into matter and antimatter then combines again into light at that perception horizon so that's actually at the speed of light now that combination again into light is actually most commonly uh, in the form of gamma ray bursts but depending on what level you're talking about it can be a different form of light so that sort of breathing process is happening in the black hole principle and when it comes to the um electric the matter that's coming um, at just below the speed of light, that split that happens, that can often be in the form of electrons that are just below the speed of light. So we see these fast streaming electrons coming from black holes and indeed from every level of the universe we can see this happening even in the thunderstorms above our heads. Um, so we can see this being expressed at different levels. Now, fast-moving electrons can often result in X-rays. So you see this intermittent sort of gamma rays and, um, and X-rays that are happening as the black hole principle is um, sort of breathing in and out. And so that's why, from this perspective, we would expect there to be two poles um, outside of this black hole that the black hole is actually emitting and these intermittent um, gamma rays and x-rays and they're forming bubbles because as the whole thing is spiraling these two jets are actually creating these bubbles. 
So we just to show that these bubbles, these sorts of bubbles, have actually been seen around uh, other objects as well, because this is happening at every single level. It's just expressed in different ways. And uh, so this is like a little article on a bubbly little star that I found, um, just to show that uh, it is happening at different levels. So that's the explanation for why these X-ray bubbles are appearing in the Milky Way. And uh, if you like this sort of content, please um, subscribe so that you get the next live or the next YouTube um, video. And uh, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Thank you.